we at K-Torque are now part of the Rotorque family of products. Oh, okay. And K-Torque is a pneumatic actuator mm -hmm. that Rotorque um, has added to the Rotorque portfolio of products um, so that they now have a quality and innovative pneumatic actuator offering to complement the electric offering. Okay, terrific. Maybe we can take a look at it. I'd love to take a look at it. Um, it's a very, very simple device, uh -huh. but in the water and wastewater industry, simplicity means reliability, mm -hmm. and uh, with that, um, we offer essentially decades of maintenance-free performance with this product. Mm -hmm. uh, applications would typically include um, filter galleries, any application for quarter-turn pneumatic actuators, that would include ball valves, butterfly valves, plug valves, mm -hmm. um, membrane water treatment plants, mm -hmm. Those are the types of applications that KTORC does very well in. Uh, we are AWWA C540 and C541 approved. Mm -hmm. And to take, a, to take a simple look, it's a very simple device. The actuator is called a vein actuator and it attaches to the valve. The vein is to one side and air pressure is applied to one side of the vein, driving it this direction to mm -hmm. open the valve. Air pressure then applied to this side to close the valve. One moving part, mm -hmm. very simplistic. It's a true rotary actuator, and um, it's very compact to fit into the tight confines of a pipe gallery. So that's Terrific. essentially it. It's a very basic and simple device, but it offers the user years and years of maintenance-free operation. Wow, excellent. So it's called K-Torque. We're manufactured in Dallas, and we're now part of the Rotorque family. All right. But the actuator alone can't do the job by itself. Mm -hmm. It has to have some controls bolted to it to interface with the computer. Sure. So this is like the muscle to open and close the valve, but it has to have some brains attached to it sure. to, to make it do what it's supposed to do. And yeah. typically, the controls would include limit switches that tell the computer that the valve is either opened or closed. And along the back here, this would be called a solenoid valve, and it receives the signal from the computer to open and close the valve. And finally, in the event everything goes wrong, there's no air pressure, there's no electricity to, electricity to run the control system. There's a hand wheel manual override that can be engaged that will allow the user to open and close the valve manually. So essentially that's it, a very simple device. That's the muscle to open and close the valve. These are the brains.